as of February 25th of 2024, there are currently 46 volcanoes actively erupting around the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Nicaragua's Masaya volcano, which long ago was searched by conquistadors who incorrectly thought that gold lied buried within its active lava lake. While they of course did not find any gold, it is a reminder that this volcano has maintained an active lava lake for much of the last 500 years. While its current eruption is almost completely effusive with occasional minor ash emissions, the presence of a caldera indicates that thousands of years ago, Messiah produced far more powerful and explosive eruptions. And now, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. Southeast of Mexico City, the towering Popocatepetl volcano produced a series of impressive volcanic explosions. Meanwhile, after weeks of activity suggesting that some form of a magmatic intrusion might be underway, Indonesia's Kamalama volcano finally produced a new eruption. And in Tonga, more than two years after the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai Island was almost completely destroyed in a powerful volcanic eruption, plant life has finally begun to recolonize one of the islands. However, this is simultaneously occurring while both the Hunga Tonga and Hunga Haapai Islands are still sinking further into the ocean every month. For context, between December of 2014 and January of 2022, the infamous Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano was connected as a single 3.9 km wide island. However, once an eruption began in December of 2021, it produced a series of increasingly powerful explosions, cracking rock along the way and allowing water to seep into the volcano's magma conduit. This culminated in the largest steam blast in recorded history on January 15th of 2022, when the volcano exploded with a power equivalent to the detonation of 61 million tons of TNT. The island was thus almost completely obliterated and all of its plant and animal life, including its dense forests, were wiped out in an instant. Despite the scope of the devastation the eruption brought, within only a few months, thousands of seabirds began to colonize the island, taking a liking to the tall and steep cliffs the island remnants had. It now appears that these very seabirds have led to plant life finally beginning to recolonize the Hunga Haapai Island beginning in September of 2023. Birds likely ate grasses on a nearby island, such as Nomuka, before fleeing to Hangahaapai and then producing dung which contained grass seeds. Grasses subsequently spread across the island after initially being confined to a nutrient-rich patch of ground that contained the rock-type palagonite. By November of 2023, grasses had spread to 28% of the island and this figure is likely to continue to grow. However, I am unsure if proper forests will eventually return to the island through a similar process as the caldera which lost 2,000 feet in a single day is still continuing to settle. As a result, both islands are continuing to decrease not only in area but in height every month as subsidence continues. This process will eventually come to a halt, but when it will is unknown. In Mexico, 70 kilometers southeast of Mexico City is the towering Popocatepetl volcano which has been near continuously erupting since 1994. This activity has largely consisted of sustained low-intensity ash emissions, strombolian eruptions which eject bombs of lava, and more powerful intermittent volcanian explosions. Although the intensity of Popocatepetl's eruption during the last week largely hasn't changed, the volcano did produce an unusually powerful explosion on February 20th at 6.29pm local time. Caused by the breaking of a temporary seal above its magma conduit, the plume of ash it created rose to a height of 24,000 feet, creating an impressive sight seen from afar. While representing Popocatepetl's tallest ash plume since May of 2023, it only reached 2,000 meters above its summit. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, the Gamalama volcano erupted, meaning a total of 220,000 people are within 7 kilometers of that explosively erupting volcano. Although any eruption from Gamalama is a potential disaster due to the sheer number of people which live on Ternate Island, so far the eruption which began on February 23rd has produced no pyroclastic flues and only a weak but sustained 500 meter high ash plume. However, if the eruption suddenly dramatically increased in intensity or is expected to do so, then sections of or the entirety of the island could be evacuated. However, there are currently no signs that such an increase in volcanic activity is imminent. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting.
Additionally, here are some volcano showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on February 24th of 2024.